Hey, Jerm. How's that Baskin Robbins gig going, man? I got laid off. Got laid off? Yeah. What, they they find out? Oh, yeah, they always find out. Baskin Robbins always finds out. What's up, YouTube? Homer Rex and Jeremy here. Yo. We got another movie review for you. Uh, we went out and seen the Ant Man flick. You know? Yep, Marvel's final of 2015 before Civil War. Before the Civil War. It's a little late, but you know. Time the, constraints. Time constraints here at Homer Rex Studios. Busy schedules and whatnot. Better late than never, they say. Yeah. Yeah, true. So, Jerem, just give us a rundown of the movie. You know, um, the, the the sad part about this movie uh, is if you've seen Iron Man, the first one, you kind of see the same thing. It, it follows a lot of the same tropes about, you know, guy up and coming, you know, the business uh, aspect of one guy trying to take over from another guy. There's a lot of the, kind of that thing that gets replayed in this movie. Yeah. But essentially, we start with uh, Paul Rudd who plays Scott Lang, and he is a criminal. And he's quite looked down on. I don't know if you felt... He's quite looked down on for the crime he actually committed. Oh, yeah. What would you call one of those criminals? It's like... it Because it was like an act of that you would feel he'd be applauded for. More like Robin Hood yeah, style yeah. Crimin, criminality yeah, or but whatever. I, I mean, he's considered, oh, he's a bad person. Um, it just kind of it threw me off, I think, a little bit. But, you know. But anyway, he meets uh, Hank Pym. Who has the Ant Man suit because he at one time was Ant Man, and now they have to go in on a big heist to kind of save some technology, and that's really what that movie boils down to—a heist film. A heist film, yep. And uh, you know, heist film slash origin. Superhero. Oh yeah, yeah. You got the origin. Of course, it's origin. It's his first knows, movie. But nobody knows who Ant Man is. <laughs> that kind of goes back to the first Iron Man. You know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, you got to go gotta through his training. Story. You got to go through. You know how. Yeah. He gets his bearings with the suit, and which is all cool and fun to watch. I mean, and, and that is the truth. It's fun, you know. I mean, it's like your Marvel movies nowadays; they're fun. You enjoy them. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's. Uh, what did you like about the movie? What's your pros? You know, the effects were were really good. I really like the effects. Yeah. Yeah. The I mean, the shrinking down and just seeing the world from that kind of angle was done really well, and to be a uh, the other thing is, to be honest, the other thing that's really good is the acting itself. There's some misses, but Paul Rudd was kind of Paul Rudd, and who doesn't really like Paul Rudd? I enjoyed him as Ant-Man. Yeah. I mean, like he kept a, it was a more, it had the plenty of comedy in it, but it's still serious moments, you know? Yeah, and well. like, Michael Douglas is Michael Douglas, and he does what he does, and he does what he does well. So... Mm -hmm. He works, and you get a lot of nice little cameos that I'm not going to mention because it you will enjoy. Yeah, you know? he'll enjoy that kind of spoil some stuff. But um, I think uh, Hank's daughter, played by Evangeline Lilly, hope she did a good job. She I liked was a her. Solid job. Yeah. Now you and me though had a problem with one of the members of that cast, and I'm going to let you intro it. Um, uh, the villain, man. I I couldn't. I not a very solid villain. I mean, I like this actor. I'm not sure of his name. Baldy, but you know, <laughs> I've I've seen him in other flicks. He was in House of Cards, and I don't know. He's in The Strain too. He's in The Strain. I like him in The Strain, and I liked him in House of Cards. But as a a villain for Ant Man, it just uh, I don't know if it's bad writing or just bad performance, but he didn't do it for me. Well, you know, I I think it kind of goes back to what we're just saying a lot underwhelming villains in all the Marvel movies. Marvel slacking on the villains. And they've know? been doing that since really the beginning. I everybody likes to go back and say, well Loki Yeah, Loki's fun, but he's not very villainous. He doesn't never feels like a threat. Yeah, but then you go to Red Skull, you yeah, know Yeah, it's kinda like Red Skull suck. Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't even know what that villain's name was. He he's was horrible. forgettable. He is forgettable. But the the one that and, and to be fair, he was a step up. Like I said, uh, well, after we saw it, he was a step up from the average Marvel villain. But should have been better. I thought was Ultron even. Ultron, yeah. He would. Ultron could have been super menacing. Yeah. But they almost made him. They didn't make him that. It's no, that almost simple, too yeah. comedic. You know? Yeah. I mean. It, it's a Marvel movie. That's the other thing that works in this movie is the comedy. Comedy, action, graphics, yeah. 
Or their strong suit villains are definitely their yeah. Weak it's point. a weak suit. I think we're just kind of accepting that with Marvel now. You ain't gonna get a very good villain. So, yeah, <laughs> which is a little concerning considering you're all building up towards a villain. But hope well, you know, hopefully they hopefully they got some gas left in the tank. And oh, they, can... they they I think that's the nice thing with Ant Man. I think it proves that they they do have gas in the tank. They know where they're going. You know, you just hope that when they get there, it's as good as you want it to be. Yeah, expectations always run high, and that's, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That makes for disappointment sometimes. Yeah, it does. There ain't no doubt there. All right, so we had some pros out there. What did you dislike about the movie? Well, like we talked about, you know, the you know, the, the villain the was. The villain, yeah. And the other thing I'd say about the movie is unless you're a, like a really big heist movie fan, you're gonna find that this movie gets slow from time to time. It's um, yeah, it did get a little slow. That's kind of the thing. Like, I mean, you'll be going at a good pace for quite a while, but then it just kind of backs off and you slow down a little. And you, uh, it, it, it's it's little things that we complain about, but you know, yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I also didn't like. I know it's a superhero movie and it's all impossible and whatever, but uh, just some of the physics in it. Well, the physics, yeah, I know what you're talking about. They do kind of... And I can accept what he's doing and stuff. I just wish they'd make it consistent. Yeah, they, there is a lack of uh, consistency in what he does. Like, in just what he can do as... And even even, the, even what his body does, how it reacts to things, like when he's falling, you know, he'll break through some things, but... Other things, other just things he'll just he'll land on it and like if you know it's it's kind of weird when you see it because you do think it think about it at first um i think you do tend to let it slide a little bit more oh you of know? course you just let it slide and you enjoy the movie yeah. but if you're going to nitpick i mean just be consistent with your physics yeah and, you, and you're right there i mean it, it, it's hard to disagree with that um but another uh con i would say and, and like because we don't want to you know ruin anything there was a big thing that we talked about that, you know, why, and I won't say what it is, but why Paul Rudd has to be Ant-Man doesn't exactly make sense when you start thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, they, they explain it. It didn't really make sense. I just, I mean, it did make sense, but it wasn't necessary. You know, yeah, it yeah, been. yeah. It was, I don't, it was just one of those things where I wish you could have did a little bit you know, yeah, give me a little bit more. Ant Man Two might set that up a little more too. You know? Yeah, and and you're right. You know, Ant Man Two. They try to cover a lot of stuff in this movie, and and they actually give us, you know, because there are two post credit scenes. They actually start setting up for the uh, next movie, which Age of Ultron didn't do, which kind of shocked me. I did, I never yeah. understood that. I did enjoy the end credit scenes. Yeah, the second one I thought was more enjoyable than the first one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what 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 do you think you'd give it, Jeremy? You know, I'm gonna give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I didn't like it as much as Age of Ultron, but that doesn't mean it's not fun. You know, it was fun and it was an enjoyable movie. I recommend everyone to see it still, but I'm gonna give it a six. Yeah, that's a solid because I was bouncing back and forth between six and and seven, and I gave it just the benefit of the doubt. Really, it got a little slow. And I didn't like the villain, but it was still fun. So Yeah, fun. Fun. So go out and see Ant-Man. This is Homer Rex and Jeremy. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Check out the annotations at top. So long. Bye.